we present an approach for high dimensional filtering of images and videos in real time. High dimensional filters are important building blocks in many image processing and computer vision applications. The most popular filter of this class is the bilateral filter, which for this one dimensional signal mixes pixels based on their distance in a 2D space. Naively evaluating this filter has a quadratic cost on the number of pixels. We introduce a new approach for high dimensional filtering which produces high quality results, is faster and requires less memory than previous methods. This is achieved by sampling the high dimensional space using nonlinear manifolds specifically adapted to each signal. Thus, we call them adaptive manifolds. Using adaptive manifolds, filtering is performed in three steps. The first step projects pixel colors onto each adaptive manifold. This projection uses Gaussian weights to attenuate the color values based on the distance from the pixel to the manifold. This process is performed for all pixels. The second step blurs over each manifold the projected colors from the previous step. In the final step, each pixel gathers one filtered value from each manifold and interpolates them using normalized convolution. Performing this operation for every pixel produces the desired filtered colors. In our paper, we provide a formal derivation of the equations which define our method. In fact, our approach is the first high-dimensional filter with linear complexity in the number of pixels and the dimensionality of the space in which the filter operates. Previous approaches have exponential complexity due to multilinear interpolation or have superlinear complexity in the number of pixels or are not suitable for parallel implementation, especially on GPUs. The benefits of our approach are that first, we sample the high-dimensional space at scattered locations. This is possible due to the use of normalized convolution. Second, computation is performed only where it's needed, since the manifolds adapt to the signal. Third, we can compute the filter response in linear time, since the samples are structured on the manifolds. And finally, the number of adaptive manifolds required to filter a signal is independent of the dimension of the space in which the filter operates. Our approach is also flexible enough to demonstrate the first single-pass hybrid Euclidean geodesic filter. We compute the adaptive manifolds using a hierarchical approach. Given an input signal, the first manifold is defined by low-pass filtering its samples. The standard deviation of this low-pass filter is given by the desired spatial standard deviation of the high-dimensional kernel. We then define two disjoint clusters of pixels, those which are locally above the first manifold and those which are locally below. Note that this is just an intuition, since above and below are not always defined in high dimensional spaces. Given these two clusters, we then create two more adaptive manifolds by low pass filtering only the pixels belonging to the same clusters. This process is repeated until one obtains the desired number of manifolds, and in our paper we discuss how to choose this number. Note how the manifolds create approximately linear pathways in the high dimensional space that allow exchange of information among pixels with similar range values during the filtering process. Furthermore, notice that if we decrease the spatial standard deviation of the high dimensional filter, the manifolds adapt better to the signal. This is possible since information from each pixel will travel smaller distances, and thus the manifolds need to be approximately linear in smaller neighborhoods. This tree illustrates the adaptive manifolds used to filter the image on the left, which generates this result. Our approach to high dimensional filtering can be used as a building block for many applications. Our filter can be used for denoising natural images using non-local means. For this example, the filtering process was performed in 27 dimensions. We can also denoise using additional information. In this example, the low-light color image on the left was combined with an infrared image to define a 9-dimensional space. In this space, our 
computer can produce a sharp and denoised version of the color image. In our paper, we described the first single-pass hybrid Euclidean geodesic filter. Please see the paper for details. This example shows a noisy rendering from a pass tracer. Our approach can filter the indirect illumination of the scene, generating a denoised and high-quality result. The sequence shows a full HD video filtered with our approach. Each frame was processed independently in 7 milliseconds, and the resulting output is temporally coherent. Our filter can also be used for real-time detail enhancement of Full HD videos. The sequences are available in their full resolution in the supplementary materials.